Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to discuss the first lecture of your ADS part 2 and that is the Hemi chord dates. First of all, it is necessary to learn what is the meaning of the Hemi chord dates. Hemichordata or hemichordates. The phylum hemichordata. Hemi means half. It is originated from the Greek word hemi. Hemi means half. And plus, um, uh, L represents the Latin language, and in Latin language, me, corda means cord or string like. It means these animals are string like animals. And the examples of the phylum hemichordata include acorn worms. These worms are included in the class Intero Neusta and the pterobranchs. Pterobranchs, these are included in the class Pterobranchia. So, class Intero Neusta has the example of acorn worm, while pterobranchs are the examples of the class Pterobranchia. Members of the both classes live in or on the marine sediments. This is their habitat. What is their habitat? They live in or on marine sediments. Samandri pani ke sediments ke ya to andar rahenge ya unke upar rahenge. Ab humne next dekhni hai characteristics of the phylum hemichordata. What are the characteristics of phylum hemichordate? This is most important from paper point of view or other, you can say objective point of view they are marine and they are present in only marine water not in the fresh water deuterostom body well now what are the deuterostom characteristics of the animals their anus is developed from the dorsal uh, from the blastopore and their body is divided into three regions First region is proboscis, second one is the collar, and third one is the trunk. N and their coelom is divided into three cavities, tripartile coelom. In next uh, page, I will show the, uh, uh, you, uh, the diagram of uh, these animals, how their body is divided into proboscis, collar, and the trunk. They have ciliated pharyngeal slits. In the region of the pharynx, they have slits, and these slits have cilia on them. This is the pharynx ka region. It is the region of the pharynx. It is the region of the pharynx. It is the region of the pharynx. They have open circulatory system. Open circulatory system, and their blood is not confined to um, blood vessels uh, their blood directly baths the tissue they have complete digestive tract its mean oral and anal openings are separate dorsal sometime tubular nerve cord dorsal tubular nerve cord in future uh, in case of higher animals um, uh, brain and spinal cord is developed from the dorsal tubular nerve cord so you can say that uh, in these uh, in this uh, phylum hemichordata uh, origin of brain and spinal cord starts Now I am going to discuss the first class of hemichordates. First class is the entero neusta. Inter Greek entero means intestine plus neustikos for breathing. They are marine worms and their size range between 10 to 40 centimeter although some can be as long as 2 meter. Mostly you can find these uh, animals with a size range of 10 to 40 centimeter although uh, 2 meter long animals are also found in nature zoologists have described over thousand species there thousand species uh, sorry hundred species are discovered 
and now what is their habitat they occupy u shaped burrow in sandy and muddy substrate between the limits of the high and low tides jahan par samandar mein unchi lehre aur kam unchai wali lehre hoti hain wahan par jo ret ke substrates hote hain wahan par ye u shape ki burrow zameen mein burrow bana kar rehte hain the list of the deep sea enteronews species is growing longer with the passage of time as more discoveries uh, 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 occurs their uh, list or their number is increasing day by day the common name of the enteronews acorn worm is derived from the appearance of the proboscis which is short conical projection at the worm's anterior end अब इनको हम एंटेरोन्यूज क्यों कहते हैं इनको एंटेरोन्यूज या एकॉन वम इसलिए कहा जाता है कि इनके एंटीरियर ये वाला जो एंटीरियर है इसका मतलब होता है अगला सिरा वहाँ पर आपको कॉनिकल प्रोजेक्शन या तीन कोनी प्रोजेक्शन मिलेगी और उसकी वजह से इस इनको नाम दिया जाता है एंटेरोन्यूज अ रिंग लाइक कॉलर इज पोस्टीरियर टू द प्रोबोसिस कॉलर इज प्रेजेंट बिहाइंड द प्रोबोसिस एंड एन ई लॉन्ग एड ट्रंक इज द थर्ड डिवीजन ऑफ द बॉडी दिस इज क्लियरली विजिबल इन द फिगर सिक्सटीन पॉइंट सिक्स अलॉन्ग विद थ्री बॉडी रीजन द एंटेरोन्यूज हैव सी लोम डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री कैवर्टीज द ट्राइब पार्टीलेट सी लोम इज अ फीचर ऑफ द हेमिकॉर्डेट शेयर विद द एकाइनो डॉग्स अब ये जो इन दिस करेक्टरिस्टिक इज देयर सिमिलैरिटी विद द एकाइनो डम्स एकाइनो डम्स के साथ ये कौन करेक्टर इनकी सिमिलैरिटी है कि इनकी जो सी लोम है वो तीन पोर्शंस के अंदर डिवाइडेड है असीलिएटेड एपिडर्मस एपिडर्मस एंड ग्लैंड सेल्स कवर द एकॉन वर्क एपिडर्मस यहाँ पर और ग्लैंड सेल्स एकॉन वर्म को कवर करेंगे एपिडर्मस आउटर मोस्ट लेयर और एंड दिस इज सिलेटेड वन द माउथ इज लोकेटेड वेंट्रली बिटवीन द प्रोबोसिस एंड द कॉलर अब माउथ की लोकेशन क्या है डॉर्सल साइड वो साइड होती है जहाँ पर वर्टिब्रल कॉलम होता है ये आपको एक जनरल बात बता रही हूँ इसको याद रखना कि डॉर्सल कौन सी होती है जिधर वर्टिब्रल कॉलम होता है वेंट्रल साइड कौन सी होती है जहाँ पर एबडामिन होता है लेकिन अब यहाँ पे क्योंकि हेमिकॉर्डेट्स को हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं तो हेमिकॉर्डेट्स के अंदर आप ये ये वर्टिब्रल कॉलम या एबडामिन का कॉन्सेप्ट नहीं रखेंगे यहाँ पर जहाँ पर डॉर्सल ट्यूबुलर नर्व कॉर्ड होगी उसे आप वर्टि वर्टिकल सॉरी डॉर्सल पोर्शन कहेंगे वेरिंग नंबर ऑफ फेरेंजियल स्लेट्स फ्रॉम अ फ्यू टू द सेवरल हंड्रेड आर पोजिशन लिटरली ऑन द ट्रक फ्रेंजियल स्लेट्स दे आर द ओपनिंग बिटवीन द एंटीरियर रीजन ऑफ द डाइजेस्टिव ट्रैक कॉल द फेरेंग्स एंड द आउटसाइड ऑफ द बॉडी फेरेंग्स और जिसम के दरमियान ये रीजन ये जो ओपनिंग्स मौजूद हैं इन्हें कहते हैं फेरेंजियल स्लेट्स A small diverticulum of diverticulum of the gut tract called the buccal diverticula extend into the proboscis. It is synapomorphy that unites the enteronews and terobranchia within the hemicordates. Now I am going to show the uh, going to show the diagram of these animals. This is the longitudinal section of the entire news. Okay, body is divided into three regions. First one is the proboscis, second one is the collar, and third one is the trunk. This region is the proboscis, and now this region is the collar, and third region is the trunk. Here you can see easily the location of the mouth. Mouth is located ventrally. This is the dorsal side, and this is the ventral side. This is located ventrally between the proboscis and the collar. This is the location of the. Um, and this is the location of the mouth, and now the pharyngeal slits. These are the pharyngeal slits, and these are the opening between the pharynx. Uh, these are the opening between the pharynx and outside the body. Okay. 
now next we have to discuss the maintenance function of the entire use first 